Hello, this is Danny D. Drew. Here's a simulator I built for SRB separation, Ryan from SRB. It's a pretty good model. It models uh, everything as a sphere with the correct mass. I found a uh, correct CD as a function of Mach. It starts out at about 0.45 subsonic, peaks at about 1, now Mach 1.2, and then hypersonic goes to 0.92. CD. Uh, I'll just read the uh, parameters we're using here initially. At initial velocity is 1,200 feet per second, 45 degree flight path angle. We have a uh, air is one type max dynamic pressure Q, 1,200 psf. We're assuming the SRB will accelerate at two G's after the uh, Orion gets off. I'm assuming basically the upper stage also goes at max Q shortly after SEP and it will thrust at an also an angle 45 degrees three seconds later range safety will pull the plug the radius of Orion is seven and a half feet it's got a modeling a single 18 foot radius stroke shoot it's going to deploy 17 seconds after abort initiation I have a 450,000 pound last thrust, which gives us 15 G's initial acceleration. I do not have a last sustained burn motor. <coughs> uh, thrust is zero. 21,000 pound Orion. Uh, the last mass is calculated at 8,000 pounds. And here's an important thing, the debris goes from a minimum of 100 feet per second to 250 feet per second. I assume a linear random in between those two for the debris. Uh, 0.5 feet for minimum radius to 1.5 feet maximum radius. That's uh, 3 feet across, basically 1 meter. And the vertical axis of our plot is 15,000 feet. And that's from about three-fourths of the way down the page up to the top. And now, here's a scale. Uh, this line is 10,000 feet across. Uh, the time of the simulator is at the bottom. It will start off at zero, and I'm going to hit the start button. Okay, here is 1,200 PSF. Orion is the black square. The debris is the red dots. We're right in the middle of the debris field. And in a second, the drug will open. Boom, there's the drug pops open. Not a good place to be. Right in the middle of flaming SRB debris. Now let's see what happens when we go to a direct or side mount like 700 pounds per square foot. Okay, here comes Orion. It's doing a little better with the debris field. Uh-oh, the debris still catches up with us. And the drogue will open. There goes the drogue. Well, not quite smack dab in the middle of it, but going to the lower dynamic pressure certainly is not the solution. We're 30 seconds into the flight now. The SRB debris is certainly still flaming. Not good either. Okay, now we've increased our last burn time to three seconds, which has uh, increased the mass of the last from 9,000 to basically 13,000. So now we will see what happens. Okay, we got a longer burning glass. Orion is further away. The glass is burned out. We're coasting. The drogue opens. Still not in good shape. Okay, now let's do even better here. We have a three-second 
Ty G. Lass uh, with an 80,000 pound sustainer motor which will burn until the drogue opens which is 17 seconds after abort declaration and let's see if we're going to do all right and this is again at 700 psf this looks much better there's our drogue is open It looks like we might live through this one. But let's see what happens if uh, the ring safety guy doesn't punch the button quite as fast as we'd like him to. Okay, we're still at 700 PSF with our uh, huge lass at generates uh, 450,000 pounds of thrust for 3 seconds and 80,000 pounds of thrust for uh, 15 seconds after that for a total of 17 seconds of thrusting. And our total last package is now 22,600 pounds. It's actually higher, heavier than the capsule now. But the rain safety guys uh, takes him 8 seconds to decide it's time to blow the package, which may be a little bit on the long side. But let's see what happens. Now keep in mind an SRB will not destroy itself by aerodynamic pressure like a liquid stage will destroy itself when it's exposed to maximum dynamic pressure without a cap on them. There's the drug opening. And we're still in the debris field. So even with this worst case scenario of uh, taking eight seconds to pop off the uh, the struck package, we're still in the debris field and it is 45 seconds after the abort, so the debris is still burning. Let's change the SRB data here a little bit. Now the SRB, we're generating three Gs. Uh, keep in mind a SRB halfway through its burn if the upper stage is gone or if it's uh, separated from the ET is about a 4G acceleration. So 3G is actually probably uh, even a little bit on the low side and in this case we're uh, having a destruct time 4 seconds after the abort declaration. And here comes our debris following our little Orion. Uh, this is the Mongo class with 80,000 pound sustainer. And it looks like we're okay this time. We're going to keep the three G's, but we're going to have the range safety package initiated five seconds after abort this time. There's the struct. That's too close right there probably. Well, the drogue's not open yet. Well, by the way, this whole thing is assuming you don't need drogues initially, that you can coast without drogues which I'm not sure is a good assumption for the high dynamic pressure. This is 33 seconds into the abort and we're right on the edge of the debris field. Keep in mind these are the big pieces there. They're almost certainly still burning. Those are the ones that started out at a foot and a half diameter or radius rather. So with the uh, uh, 3G SRB post upper stage ET destruction five seconds is not good even with our massive LAS. Again this is the big LAS and weighs a total of uh, 23,652 pounds.